Hey guys, welcome back to Bougie Brie Beauty. Um, if you've been following along on Instagram, you would know that I am doing a giveaway once I get to 100 subscribers. So make sure to subscribe, share my channel, and it, you might just win a giveaway. It's gonna be a bunch of beauty products, um, mostly makeup, so um, definitely keep looking out for that. Um, today I am doing a late unboxing video of my September BoxyCharm Luxe. Um, uh, I'm doing this late because I decided I want to do my unboxing videos a little differently. I don't want to just be like, hey guys, this is what I got. So I actually received this box a couple weeks ago and I've had a chance to actually use and test majority of the products. So I'm going to be giving you guys a review and a first impression of the products. Now BoxyCharm Lux is a, the quarterly subscription. You have to have a regular BoxyCharm subscription to um, subscribe for the Lux. It comes every three months, like every quarterly. It's additional $25 a month. Um, all the products are valued at like over $250. I believe it replaces your normal box. And this is my first Lux box I got. So I was super excited to get it and let's dig into it. So from now on my reviews of an unboxing videos, my final um, review of a product is going to be would I pay retail price for this product? Yes or no? Um, because you know, sometimes you find products that you're like, I love, I really like that product, but I wouldn't pay that much for it. Or I love this product. I would pay way more than that for it. So, um, every boxy charm, you get a little, little like postcard and it, you know, lists everything that's in your box. It also tells you the retail value, gives you some information of the product. So that's where I'm getting the MSRP price from. Uh, two of these products I was actually able to select ahead of time, so I knew I was getting them. They let you do that with all your Lux boxes. Well, one of the two products that I chose to receive was the Kate Somerville Exfoli Kate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. I've never used any of Kate Somerville's products before, but it's an exfoliator and I have sensitive skin, so I'm always looking for a like good exfoliator that isn't too harsh on my skin. Now this retails for $85. So that's kind of steep when it comes to an exfoliator or just any kind of facial product. Um, I have used this once. It is like a gooey greenish color. Now it's an exfoliator that you're not gonna use daily. You're gonna use it about once a week, every other week. I have sensitive skin, so I've only been doing it every other week. Um, the reason why I was super excited about this is because the second ingredient in this is lactic acid. And one of my serums that I use on a daily basis is a lactic acid serum. And a lactic acid is an exfoliant. So I'm so super excited to try this. I actually really loved it. It's not a typical mask where you leave it on for 10, 15 minutes till it hardens. You scrub it for about 30 seconds and then you leave it on for about a minute or two, depending on like the sensitivity of your skin. Like I could feel it kind of burning. And once I felt that burning sensation, I was like, okay, time to get this off. And it just left my skin feeling so cleansed. It, it just seemed refreshed. It seemed like that top layer of my pores was kind of like gone. Um, I really liked it. Would I pay $85 for it on a normal basis? Yes, I would. So I love this product. I recommend it. The other product that I received that I chose was this Tan Lux The Gradual. It's an illuminating, illuminating gradual tan lotion. Now this is one of the products that I actually haven't tried. I'm waiting to get a spray tan and then after my next spray tan, I wanna start using this every day to see how it's gonna help prolong my spray tan. Because how pale I am, gradual tanners take about three days to actually like show some color on me. I don't know about this, but in my past experiences, so I'm like, in three days, I'm gonna like use this whole bottle. So I'd rather just get a spray tan, have some color and use this to prolong it. It smells really good. So I'm super excited about this. Retails for $33, which when you're looking at luxury self tanning products like St. Tropez or even like Fake Bake or Loving Tan, like they're all about in that range. So if I really like this product, I would pay $33 for it. The Gradual Tanner, excited to try this. I would pay that for a Gradual Tanner that was like, you know, that was a good product. This is a Hip Dot, never heard of this brand, eyeshadow palette. 
It's Zion is the name of the palette and it's Press Pigment Palette. And these colors are actually really pretty. So here's this palette, here's these colors. Now I have used a few of these colors and they actually are very pigmented, I really like them. Having tested this product and it retailing for $30, I would buy this palette for $30. Granted, I kind of have all these other colors in another palette that I already own. If I saw this palette with these colors, never heard of the brand, tried the brand, I probably wouldn't buy it just cause like, I know what eyeshadow brands I like. I have a ton of eyeshadows. I don't really, I haven't bought a palette in probably at least like a year because I have so many, but I do really like this palette. I would pay $30 for it. It's pigmented, it's great. All these colors are definitely colors that I would personally use. So this is another yes, that was a success. Another item that I received was this keratin, or Care therapy. It's a keratin infused deep conditioning mask. It's for your hair. And this actually came at a really good time because I was almost out of my last hair mask. And during like this whole Corona, like shutdown quarantine, nine times out of 10, if you see me, my hair is thrown up in a messy bun. And every day I just redo my messy bun and I don't like brush it out. I brush it out like after I shower, like when it dries and that's about it. So masks for the last couple months have like saved my hair. Um, this smells really good. I really like it. It has um, jojoba, walnut, chestnut oils. Um, it's supposed to bring like moisture, strength, elasticity, like a shine. I use it about once a week and I've actually, I've only used, so I've used it twice. I actually really like it. Retail price, $24. This is a big bottle. This is gonna last me a while. I would definitely pay $24 for this product. Another product that I, well, not tools I received from Pure. Um, I've never used any Pure cosmetics or Pure brushes, but this traveling case is so cute. I usually just throw my brushes in with my makeup and my traveling makeup case. So I actually really like this traveling case. I've used a lot of these brushes already. I think there's like one that I haven't used. Um, now, if you ever are looking for a makeup brush set, you're always gonna have brushes in that set that you don't use, you don't touch. You're like, I don't even know what to use this for. Um, in this, like for example, like I won't use this comb, you know, like I don't need this. I have spoolies on all my eyebrow brushes. I don't need this, whatever. Um, now this, it's the, it's like cruelty free, which I don't wanna say that doesn't matter to me, but if I'm looking for something, I'm, I'm not gonna exclude a product that's like cruelty free or not. So I do, I do like that about this product. Um, I don't love all these brushes, gonna be honest with you. Uh, there's a couple that I actually really enjoy. Most of these I just use, I've tried because I had them and I wanted to review them for you guys. If there's one brush in here that I'm actually really happy I received, it was this P90. It's a very, it's more firm. It's a little tapered at the top. It's a very smaller brush. This is great for if you're doing a cut crease with a color above your crease, even just placing a darker pigment. Um, it's like, it really helps with precision and placement. Today I used it for the hot, like the hot pink that's kind of right above my brow bone. And it really just got it right, packed it right on there. I didn't have any fallout and it was very precise. So I really like this. Um, like I said, all these other brushes I've just been kind of using because I had. Today, I did use this P70. It's a fluffier brush. I used this um, for the orange in the middle of my eye, but I wasn't super impressed with its blending capabilities. Um, these two like fluffy brushes, like they're just too small for anything. I tried to use this one for highlight and I felt like it didn't pick up any product. So it was like, that was kind of pointless. This is like way too small. I mean, I guess you could place your like bronzer or contour with this and then fluff it, like, like blend it out with a fluffier brush, but it's just kind of too small, maybe for your nose contour. But um, this set is $49. Would I pay $49 for this set after using it and testing it? No, I would not just because there's like two brushes in here that I like. And my favorite part of this whole thing is this case. I will definitely be using this case like to travel with my brushes, my normal brushes I use. So I love getting like tools and makeup brushes. So I was like super excited about it, but 
Just not my favorite brushes, really. And when you're looking for brushes, like I said, in a set, there's always ones you're not gonna use. I'd rather just buy brushes individually that I know I'm really gonna like and I really want. Next is this lip gloss from Persona. It is a vegan, gluten-free gloss. Now, it says it's infused with avocado oil and shea butter. I got it in the shade Toffee, which is like a really dark reddish brown. It does have a shimmer to it. I don't really like shimmery lip glosses. I usually just like like clear lip glosses or you know clear pink or clear nude. Um, I do have some lip glosses with shimmer, but this looks like a silver shimmer and I'm definitely more of a gold person. This is way too dark for my liking, so I haven't tested this product retails for $16, which is actually a really good price for a lip gloss. That's right around like MAC, um, right? Like Honest Stars by Beverly Hills, like lip gloss. Um, my all time favorite Dior lip gloss is more expensive than this. So would I pay $16 for a lip gloss? Yes, I would. Haven't tried it. I can't really give you guys an honest review of this actual product because it's not my shade. I probably won't use it. So I'm gonna just put this in the no pile just because it's just, I have no idea about it. So I'm not gonna pay $16 for a product that I don't know. Fenty, I love Rihanna. I wish she still made music. Anyways, I got a kilowatt foil freestyle highlighter duo from Rihanna's Fenty line. Now I do have other Fenty kilowatt highlighters. I do have a duo one and then I do have a like single color one. I love Rihanna. I love her. I love her highlighters. This one in particular, I haven't used it because I don't like the colors. It's just not my shade. This color is seven day weekend and poolside. And I'm going to open it and show you guys. And as you see, like, it's just like a purpley pink and then just this like bluish purple. And like, <laughs> For me, these are not highlight colors. These might be some like eyeshadow colors or something like that, but definitely not my colors for highlight. Maybe the pinkish purplish one, especially when I'm like very fair, but not my choice of colors, but I do love her highlights, just not this one in particular. Um, I'm sure it's all the same formula though, so I wouldn't turn it down if these were your colors. Now this retails for $36. I have paid $36 for Fenty highlights. I will pay in the future $36 for a Fenty highlight. And I do like that it's the duo, so you get two in one. Um, so yes, I would pay that for this, just not these shades in particular. Okay, last but not least is this 111 Skin. And they're these rose gold brightening facial treatment masks. So I have done one of these masks. It's like a sheet mask, but it's not one of those paper sheet masks. It's like a jelly sheet mask. It smells really good, which is probably the rose in it. Um, it's for brightening, which isn't really a skin concern of mine. So that's not a product. That's not like, that's not something I look for when looking for a mask or a skincare product is a brightening agent. So I was just like, you know, I'm going to try this so I can review it for you guys and see what I think. Um, I don't have super dull skin to start with. I don't have really bright skin to start with, a very normal skin. So I was like, okay, it might work. And I was reading some things online, how, you know, different magazines it's been in and how some stars, like, you know, use it before any big event and it just brightens their skin and this and that. So I used it as directed and, um, you know, I just didn't see the difference. You know, it says it's supposed to like reinforce and protect skin better or the like skin barrier. It diminishes appearance of like fine lines and wrinkles, which I don't have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles anyways. Um, it's supposed to like nourish like the skin. It's, it has like 24 karat gold, which enhances like the radiance and like even skin tone, which I do have a little bit of uneven skin tone, nothing like super noticeable or crazy. So I was like looking forward to that. But like I said, I really didn't notice a big difference. Um, and honestly, these retail, there's five of them in this box. They retail for $135. No. We're not doing that. No, we're not doing that. Okay, if I'm gonna spend $135 on a mask, 
I am going to go get a real facial. Like I'm gonna go to the spa and I'm gonna get a like hydro facial. I'm gonna get like, I'm gonna get a real facial for $135. I'm not gonna spend $135 on five sheet masks. That for me personally, didn't really do much. So yeah, that's that. Anyways, as you see, majority of the products that I received, I would buy, I would spend that kind of money on. Only a few that I wasn't super impressed with. I was actually pretty blown away by BoxyCharm Lux in general. Like I said, it was my first Lux box. I'm um, excited to share it with you guys. Um, I hope you found this useful or a little helpful. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely make sure to, you know, ask away. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and look out for that giveaway once I reach 100 subscribers.